Hey everyone, this is the next video in the series about annotations in Java. So far, we have covered all these topics. We have created custom annotations. We have understood meta annotation, built-in annotations. We have also covered questions. What are the questions that can be asked from annotations? This video, we are going to cover about the processing custom annotation. How we can read the annotations that we were we have used. Right. So let's go ahead and get started. And this is the program that we are looking into. Right. So these are the annotations, my annotations that we have created and I have we have used it right here. Right. So it's time we read these annotation and see how we can get the values out of this. Right. So let me go ahead and create a class to read out the annotations. Here I am going to use the reflection API. So this is how we can get the class instance of out of this and to get. So first we will read the annotations that are used with the methods, right? So list of methods, declared methods, right? Okay. So I want to iterate out of this. So method um, declared methods. So right. So here. Uh, from these methods I can get the annotations right so get annotations yes so again it so with one method I can use many under one method I can use the many annotations so it is giving me the array out of that right so this is it and again I have to try to for loop this Annotations, right? If an instance of my annotations, right? Instance of my annotations. So now we have got the annotations which are with the particular method, right? So that is there. So here we will get the, all the annotation, and if that annotation is instance of this, then we are going to read that, right? So my annotation is by here, right? So we need to cast it to no problem. So it is instance of this, so it, casting will be proper, no issue, right? So we want this only, and I also want to get the print the method, right? M dot get me that's it right so it will give me the exact details right so what method and what annotation it is processing right so now I can go ahead and print it ma dot now I can get the message ma dot cost right now we have got the instance and now we can read this right so this is it that we need and how just reading out those annotations so this code is sufficient so let me go ahead and hit this if everything fine it will print the annotation that are there right so it will print for us that the annotations we have at this get type method so we will get the cost and default masses right so annotation uses All right. So here it is with the method get type. It has printed that this is default message and three to one. So this is the annotation that is used with method get type. But with get item set type and set item, we haven't used. We didn't use any annotation. That is why we not getting that right. So now you know how you can read the annotations which are used with the method right. In the same way, you can go ahead and read out the annotations that are with the field that are with the constructor that are with the classes right so this is how it works right so uh, this is just reading out but on this basis you can do the custom things right so for example you get the particular message so if i go ahead and if i if i talk about realistic uh, how we can use this so ma dot if it is greater than 1100 you can conditionally load some specific thing right so do some a 
specific things which is applicable which is for greater than 100 right so this is the cost and this is for example i have used the annotation but in real time if i talk about this spring boot frameworks and spring frameworks so they have concept of profiles right so if you are in dev environment test environment or production environment they uh, load uh, the configurations as per the profile right so when you have configured that dev so they read the annotations and based on that load the particular resource that is uh, located at particular lo location right so this is how you can read this right so this is how you can read on the method label and if you want to read out at constructor label uh, if you want to read out the constructor label right so this is how it goes right so let me show you that also constructor annotation so same way clas dot get constructor so it will give me the constructors also right same way i can go ahead and loop in get annotations now i have to cast it so this is the same line of code that we uh, wrote for the methods right so we have got this as out and now we can write so this is the code that we can write for the constructor as well right so if i if 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 i run this code again so i'll get the annotations that are written at constructor label also right yes constructor annotations so you get get this right so this is default mass as 987 so if i show you the uses right here so cost 987 and masses it is giving me the default masses right so this way you can go to the class level annotations also and field level annotations also right so the main point is here how we can use the reflection api annotation processing under annotation processing you have to understand the reflection api very well right so this is how you can get the annotation based on that uh, do some specific uh, function right so yeah, this is it about the annotation processors and uh, this video series is completed if you still want me cover the specific thing about the annotation so put that in comment section i'll be happy to cover that also right so go ahead and play around with this all the source code and video playlist is given in the description box go ahead and check out those also in the next video i will be, be revisiting the questions that we started with right and also explain you what we are going to cover next right so take care bye bye